Wow, welcome back everybody. This is episode 26 of Zora. However, it has been quite a few months since I last played her. And um, I need to re-familiarize. We are, this is my Wahi Beach character with the cow stuck on her porch. Oh, with the cow stuck on her porch. And I've got a lot that I that I've that I really need to look at. So let's let's just have a look and see what we've done to her property. Okay. So we have already started to go nuts with the animals. We have all of these guys seem to be blocking the doors. That's okay. Uh, we have fruit trees galore. Yep. All right. So part of my approach last time was was I was actually running it very very along very similar lines to to how I ran my um, character in. So I'll pick that till I work out exactly how much storage space I've got to, to the character Camille and I, th I think that's a mistake so let's um, let's have just a quick look and see where we're at with our storage all right so we're in a little bit of a dire straits I think with our storage we'll grab our cooking channel so we can make cheese bread and we'll grab our crafting channel and we're learning we're still learning tools which reminds me I don't know what tools I've got all right, so we're still into gold and copper. Oh, I have a meteor shovel and a uranium fishing rod. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm still getting used to a few things. Alrighty. Well, actually, I'm getting used to everything. Oh, boy. Okay, and her cupboards are in as much of a mess as Camille's were when I finished with Camille. So that, that is one of those things that we're just going to have to fix. I think we pretty much straight up, we're going to... Fix the mess that we've got here. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Have I got a kitchen yet? A small kitchen, all right. What recipes? All right, so we, we, we're really low on our recipes. We are actually gonna start to make, I think, a little bit more use of our recipes than we did with our other character, fine. Um, all right, so I know I can consolidate that lime right up to my backpack. Oh my giddy. All right, so I'm just going to do a very quick, we've done that one already. Very quick look, we might put all our jalapenos in here. Uh, oregano, let's sort that up. All right, so now anything copper axe and my spare copper axe actually it's good to know we've got one of those let's just put everything over there that we can sort everything up just take that out of there and I think what we'll do is we'll put the cilantro in as well and then sort all of that again all right so that's pretty good I know I'm gonna lose most of a day just working my stuff out but I think it's probably important to get that done straight away all right let's just get with little bits and pieces that I do recognize it's kind of all right so I obviously I had plans and I've completely forgotten what they are nice okay seeds seeds are going in that box so that can go straight out of there and we'll sort everything over there that we can there we go it's not solving a lot of problems but we're a little bit better off than we were All right, we are going to move. All right, this is going to be our wool and cotton cupboard eventually, our crafting cupboard. So we're going to move all the seeds and things out of there. Let's just sort that up. I might throw these limes in here as well. I know you're wincing already. I can hear you. Oh, we are going to have to sell a ton of stuff. <coughs> All right, that's that's okay, I guess. Let's just get these out of there. All right, we're going to put our seeds all in one space. Basically because we just need to, to sort our stuff before we go too much further. One of the things I did learn from um, Camille was how important it was to make sure you had things where you needed them and to do that pretty early on. So we might um, take the seeds out, take the seafood and the metal out. We try and have a crafting cupboard 
um, a herb cupboard and a, a, maybe a food cupboard so this is my herb cupboard let's just get all of the seasonings and things in there all right these are vegetables we'll see if we can get them out of here I'm not I'm not liking my chances but that's okay let's just try and at least get some of this stuff where it needs to be All oh, right. So one of the advantages it was when I was, I was thinking about what I was doing. One of the advantages, the big advantages, oops, of being in Wahoo Beach, is the fruit. There is just such a lot of it in there, and it would be a real shame to not let's put our animal products in here to not um, take advantage of the the large amounts of fruit. And the ability to grow it so I think to start with what we're going to do is we're going to make this cupboard I know a cupboard our um, our animal products cupboard so we'll just put keep all that animal products in one spot we're going to make this cupboard our fruit and veggies cupboard I was going to make it a crafting cupboard but I don't think I've got enough space for that so we'll we'll just pop all of our fruit and veg into here there we go and just just hope that that gives us a little bit of respite because um, if it doesn't we the next step is to just start selling stuff so this is our animal products cupboard so that's all good just sort everything up that's sand isn't it I don't have a crafting space do I I've got herbs seeds animal products and all right so we're gonna to have to put our crafting we'll put our crafting items in here as well until I can consolidate that into something else that's an animal product that's an animal product all right so we're looking a little bit better off I do need some more storage pretty quick seaweed can go in here because it's with the fish okay all right let's check and see what else is in here Okay, so that looks a little bit better, a little bit tidier. We kind of take that out because it's a craft. It, we kind of have a better idea of where everything is. Breadfruit can come out of there and go into there. All right, we're good. Okay, let's head over here. We're going to grab our herbs and spices and take all of these out. That's an animal product. Alright, so this is our herbs and spices. We might put flowers in there as well, just for the moment. Yep, and we'll head over this way. Veggies go in this one. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. Okay, cotton technically is a crafting. <laughs> it's crafting, I know. Help. I'm going to put that in there as well. I'll put the honey. The honey is a product, animal product, but I don't like my chances. All right, so so I've got too much cotton. All right, well, either way, that is that is a better situation than we were in. So, right, it's a start. Right, okay. Now the next thing I need to do is check my chores. All right, so I've got nothing here that's really on a timer. We're going to consolidate our animals straight up. Um, it looks like we have enough chickens. We have one girl sheep, one boy sheep, two boy sheep. All right, one of them has to go. Arnold looks like he's got more hearts than Rain, so Rain is. We're going to sell Rain as soon as we can. We'll sell that to the boys. All right, so we're selling Rain. We're keeping Kojimu. We're selling, is it Kojimu? Yeah, keep Kojimu and sell Trey. So Rain and Trey have got to go. And we need another horse. All right. So what I'm going to do, the plan at the moment, is to take advantage of all of the things that um, that make Wahoo Beach specific 
like special. And those those things are your fruit. Um, and we need to ship ten thousand crops. All right, so those things are your fruit um, and fruit trees. Your ability to cook from those fruit and fruit trees and the fish those are those are the things that make everything you do at wahoo beach like the things that make wahoo beach specific to itself and if you're not taking advantage of what makes a place special to itself then you're going to have trouble so we now know that there are processes existing in the game special processes that make um, your life a little bit easier for these animals menaces all right so with that in mind we need to ship 10,000 crops and we're just going to do it we're just going to ship everything i know that hurts because that's sugar so whereas before i was kind of stocking up on everything so i could make juices from the the limes and um cook with everything and things like that we're gonna just ship all of it because we want to get our special processes to make our lives a little bit easier uh, so let's go and do that I notice I don't have any fertilizer bins and I'm beginning to think that might be because I haven't shipped 10 poop I could be wrong all right 100 200 300 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. All right, we so need more of this stuff that stacks in hundreds. We're going to plant a bunch more. So that's 1000 crops, 29 and 6, 1035. 1,036, 1,066, 1,091, 1,100 and something, 70, 80, 1,200, uh, 28, 38, 42, 1,250, 70, 1,280, 1349 probably 1350 so basically we are just going to sell all of that that's 1350 so we need to do this we need to fill that shipping bin up Get Arnold get off get off oh man Right, these animals are just maniacs. Okay, so 1350, right? Let's uh, consolidate that. All of that's going. So that's given us a ton of space in that cupboard now. 1350. No crops in here? Yes, there are. We're going to get rid of all of those, and I'm crying inside, but we'll do it. So I'm thinking that the tree crops actually count as well. I know. These aren't. No, these aren't. All right, so this is going to be... Oh man. Who are we selling? We're selling um, tray and rain. So we might go and do that. And we need to start paying some attention to truffles. Alrighty, so 1350, 1400, 1500... 1600, 1700, and 10. Except I can't get those in, no worries. All right, that's going to be our first shipment. We've got a ton of trees already in there. What are our funds like? 1306. What do we need to get to the museum in the bag? All right, we should probably go and do that. It's 1327. We could go and do that. Um, Yes, we could. All right. Let's go and see what other trees we can buy from Masika. How are you doing? 
Don't forget to plant your crops accordingly. Some plants will die once the season rolls over, unless they're fruit trees. They'll bear fruit once a year, but they won't die once they reach maturity. Cool. And by once a year, she means one time a year. What I'm looking for now is just to see where I am with my crop quota. So we need pineapples, coffee beans, potatoes. I think I just shipped the potatoes. Butter and cheese. Uh, I need to go to the markets. Before it gets too much later. Because uh, we're going to buy the butter and the cheese. 20 and 15. Okay. I know, so when I started I had no idea, well I thought I had an idea of what I was doing, but um, playing Camille as far through as I did has really taught me that I know I, 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 there's so much more. Greetings True Believer, I was talking to Jade and she says there's been an increase in the bar for liquors, I figure I should start stocking up stills, if you want me to stock these anytime soon ship 300 barley and I'll get right on it, then you can turn certain crops into hard liquor. What, what he's trying to tell you is he will... Okay, we'll, we'll leave that for today. Is he will um, stock that if you send 300 bags of barley. So we need a windmill uh, if we haven't already got one up there. But right now our main concern is to buy our butter, I think, and cheese, wasn't it? If we can. All oh, right. So I need 20. Excellent. And I need 20 of that. Alright. I'm really tempted to try making pies, but I don't have a big enough um, thing. What I might do... No, I won't, I won't get too tempted. Alright. So we're going to buy... We've got our butter and our cheese for our quota, so we'll go ship that. Uh, we need coffee beans and pineapples. I know, this is cheating, in a way. I can't buy 20 pineapples. Oh, that's fine, we have our butter and our cheese, that's going to give us um, enough of a quota. I'm going to go check and see if we can get some pineapple seeds from Masika, but it is the 20th of summer, so I don't like my chances of getting much of this quota done at all. All right. <clears throat> so a couple of important things that we need to do. We need to start working towards a very special bug net. All right, sugarcane, wheat seeds, pineapple, aha. All right, I need 20 of them. They only have a small crop. They're 10 gold a piece. I can only buy three seeds. All right, well, that solves that problem, doesn't it? And now I have one gold. <laughs> what can I buy with one gold? Not a lot. All right, fine. We'll have more money tomorrow. It'll be okay. Thank you. Okay, for the info of this, it's going to take... It doesn't tell me how many days it takes. Oh, 20 days. So we're not going to be planting those at all. We're going to stick them in our seed box. Um, oh, I should have... I didn't know. That's okay. Because we don't have 20 days left of summer, and I'm pretty sure that's a that's a summer only crop. Yeah, it's a summer only crop. That's fine. So we might take our horse out for a spin and get some of these bugs out of our backpack. Uh, we'll also clean up our farm just a tad. I do have a fertilizer barrel. Okay, so I don't need to ship 10 poop. That's fine. Hi cow. We might work on where we're going to put things to. Alrighty seeds let's get our seeds in so we have watermelon seeds all right so we're rice paddy wheat so we don't need to get any more wheat we do need to plant it though uh how's our watering can it's in good condition excuse me that's my voice going all right and i'm gonna have to um maybe take some of that stuff out of my shipping crate so then I can fit the quota stuff in because right now the quota stuff is more important because it will earn us a ton more money. That's um Okay, that's barley and I want to grind it. So yes, I do want to save that. 
Okay. All right, that's the best we can do. Let's whistle up our pony and we're going to head over to... Hey, Truffles. Oh, I love my pony. Ah, sigh. We're going to head over to Wahoo Beach. I do have a bug net and I actually know how to catch bugs now. So we might be able to clear, start clearing some of those... Um, those pesky beetles off our list and maybe some of these caterpillars as well let's just take the shortcut to the museum because as you can see our pony is not as speedy as what we're used to Ooh, I see them all right I'm kind of excited to be starting on a new adventure too um, and enter to kind of maybe know <laughs> know what I'm doing uh, Man, I thought I knew what I was doing, and then I learnt what I didn't know. And now I'm wondering how much more I don't know. It's pretty exciting. So this is one of the reasons why I'm not going to focus on mining for this character to start with. I have, I actually have a plan on where to get some of the special tools. Uh, I'm not ready to embark on that plan yet. I just need to have a little bit more time. Let's go this way. Hey Evan, how are you doing? I can't take the day off today. I still need to take care of the museum. It's not a big deal. I love my job. Cool. Um, I've got some stuff for you. Oh, we're at 11% of the museum. Okay. When's Junt's Corps moving in? Spring 1 of Year 3. So we really need to shift our patooties. Okay. So now we know that all of the bugs left in our backpack are, um, are bugs that we can... Man, this feels so slow. Um, all the bugs left in our backpack are bugs that we can ship, but we can't ship them because we've stuffed our shipping crate absolutely full. And I think we had, how much did we say? So about 1,500 crops we've sold, uh, we've, we've gotten ready. And I really want to have that, that 10,000 crops done by the end of this year. Sooner if I can manage it. So basically to get 10,000 crops we need to ship um, 1,000 bundles of 100. No that's not right I can't math. So 10 bundles of 100 for 1,000 and then I need 10,000. So, yeah, so, okay, so 10 times 10 is 100, so there you go, I can math. I'm, I'm not as hopeless as I thought I was. Let's get this pit cleaned up. I know, I got the shovel first. I should have got the fishing rod first, that's okay. So we're going to go around and clean up the poop. We're going to bell the animals. We're going to move the house too, simply because I want to be able to get that cow off my porch. Uh, and I'm thinking we might bundle the, the houses, the animal houses up in, in a slightly different format. So we might go see Duante tomorrow and get him to move some buildings for us. Alright, so we need to ship 10,000 crops, which is not as po profitable as shipping um, juice going to see where the, if there's any more poop that I've missed. I haven't, man, annoying. All right, as long as your shovel is wound down onto one square, you should be able to not, um, you should be able to avoid having, oh, typical, there's always one. Hachime, did you do that? Yeah, I believe you. You should be able to avoid uh, digging up something that you don't want to dig up. Alright, so I've got a bunch of feed troughs. I might get them out as well. So we'll, what we'll do... Thank you. I know, I've got to free my cow. Oops, not quite what I intended. But it does remind me I do need to milk the rest. Uh, 
All right, I just can't get that out from that cow until I move her. That's fine. Do I have my brush? Do I have a brush? No. Let's go get the fodder out of our backpack and the poop out of our backpack. That'll be fine. Ah, uh, for a start. Okay, so it now takes five poop to make fertilizer. It used to be a little bit less. All right, let's uh, dump the fodder. I know I'm so used to having these big fodder troughs to, to dump fodder in. And now I've got to remember I don't have automated feeders. Uh, so I can, I probably need to talk to Kane about that, don't I? Make, make good friends with Kane so he gives me feeders. We will get these out of here because basically when I move the barns, everything's going to get shifted. I forgot I have to feed them like this now and I, I nearly didn't do that. Nice. All right, it uh, looks like I'm running a little low on fodder. We might have to cut some more. Okay, that poop is going to drive me crazy. <sighs> I know, early stages of the game. Arnold, you are not supposed to be in this house. And if I remember rightly too, these are the... Um, these... These are the, the chicken, the, the little chicken houses, aren't they? The ones before the amount of chicken food and amount of cash. That could be a problem. All right, let's just put our shovel away and stop waving it around like a lunatic. I'm doing a tree patrol because I don't have a husband with this character, so I actually need to do all the things. Oh, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Okay, we're good. Okay, so what have we got? We are short on backpack space. We need to move our buildings. I do have a windmill and I have barley. All right. I need to get a seed maker. I never used to see the point in them and now I do. So I'm going to let that grind into barley and I'm going to, we're going to save that for seeds. Okay. So as you can see, your um, okay, these are my spares. Okay, so there's no way I can kind of sort the animals so that they sit nicely and I can work out where they're at. Okay, it must be 10 o'clock. All right, so everyone's asleep. Yeah, everyone's asleep. All right, okay, we're good. I'm going to take this character to bed. I think tomorrow our first thing, our first priority is going to be moving the building. So what I might do, actually I won't take it to bed yet. I'll just get all of this and I'll pick it up. So, right, let's just see what else I need to move. Maybe that butter churn. We, we're going to try and free up that cow by moving the house. And we're also going to free up these shed so I might pivot this big shed here just grab that so it's not in the way I may lose my fodder out of it though but okay okay the well should be fine where it is uh, so should that actually let's just pick up the poop thing as well and we'll pick up the oil press Okay, I can pick up the windmill. We might pick the windmill up tomorrow morning, just before we finish. All right, but I think on that note, we're going to go to bed. So we're going to go see Duante in the morning. We're not going to make our quota and we're not going to do very well. So we're probably going to get a mocking letter, but we'll get our butter and we'll get our cheese done. We have one more Saturday too. So we may actually be able to, um, to purchase a couple of these things that we're missing. We just won't tell Zarita. It's past 6 p.m. so we'll grab our next cooking recipe. Watermelon jam. When you're jamming to your favorite beats, you can also be making some jam. Like, let's make some watermelon jam today. Two watermelon, two bags of sugar, and bam, jam fam. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Crafting channel, the uranium watering can. I really need to 
I know so much I really need to do. Let's just get all this done. So what we're going to do in the morning is we're going to go and see Duante to move the buildings. Uh, that should be my shipping stuff. Oh, wait. Yeah, we so need to move this building. Okay. Crafting channel. A fox plushie. Yes. Okay, we can use wood to make fox plushies. And orange candies. All right. Okay. The weather. Tomorrow. 14%. Okay. I love how each of the towns have their own weather now. So, uh, I don't know how lucky, how, how fortunate, where, do I have a bell? I may need a bell in order to move my buildings. Alright, that should be my bonus. So we should get two bonuses today. Um, I'm about as fast as my pony, so I'm not going to bother with that. Alright, I'm a little bit slower than the pony, but I don't care. I've completely forgotten who I intended to marry, so I guess we'll just let Zora decide. 400 for the butter. Alright, so that's that's a nice kick in the pocket. Let's go talk to Duante, and we may have to buy a bell from Duante so we can put the animals in the barn so we can move the barn without squashing the animals, because they're a little bit menacey that way, they kind of get underfoot. And I don't know if I owe any money on buildings, so I might have to check that too. I guess there's no rush. Are there corn dogs in the bin? No, but there's bacon. That'll do. Okay. <sighs> 9 a.m. I should have been stalking him a bit closer. I know, I'm, I'm actually going to be listening back at this. I'm going to be hoping that music isn't as loud as it sounds. Here we go. Hi, Duante. Okay, so the answer is no, I don't owe any money. But we need to move some buildings. All right, and for that, I wish I could zoom out. Let's select the rooster's retreat. Yep. All right, now I can zoom out. So I'm going to try and basically put my orchards up on this side and probably put my house up there as well. So I'm just going to move the rooster's retreat over here for the minute. I'm just G and R. There we go. And I'm going to ask him to move another building. Uh, I actually want... that one to move. Yep. So this is the sheep shed. We're going to move it... cow is in the way isn't it yeah right, I'm gonna move it over to here just for the minute and then we're gonna move another building and this time I want to grab the house like I said I may yet need to get all the animals and stick them inside because they're being yeah see they're right where I want to put my house okay cancel that Duante, my animals are pains in the patootie and I need an animal bell to send the little monsters inside Let's buy that. Ooh, and how much money do I have? I need I need the storage, that's what I'm telling myself. Hang on. I also need the backpack. Large bland kitchen is okay, we're buying that. Because now we've opened up our recipes. We're buying a grey fridge. We're buying a, a seed maker. A seed maker or a backpack, guys, man, that is a hard choice. No, actually, we're buying... Yes, we're buying a storage shed. I'm sorry. We need it. Okay, let's go and um, put our animals. Where's my pony? I know. Got to get in the habit of riding the pony because he's he is that little bit quicker than me. Actually, okay, he's double my speed. Sorry, Truffles. I thought I could run as fast as you and I was wrong. Okay. Let's go, don't help Pauls, let's go this way. That's right, we were also going to move our windmill, weren't we? So what we're going to do, 
is we're going to grab this bell and I'm going to stick it here and ring it. Right, all the animals should go inside now. Excellent. While we're here, I also forgot to grab that and I forgot to pick that up. Right, now that's out of the way. I'm just going to get Truffles, the unhelpful, out of the way of all the other animals. And hopefully by the time we get back, the animals should be a lot less in the way than they were when we tried to move our buildings. I know, I was trying to do it without, without moving it, but that's really a bit daft. Okay. Dante, how you doing? There are always exciting new, new wallpapers in stock at the furniture store, true believer? I'm sure there are. Can we move some buildings? Because I'm really excited now. Right, I've got stars on my roof. I love that. Alright, we're going to move our house. Uh, right, and I want to maybe turn it. So I'm going to sit it as close into these trees as I can get. Okay, actually that's probably going to end up with leaves through the walls, but I don't care. Alright, we're going to move another building now because I can. So I'm going to select the milk motel. Alright. So I'm just going to try, actually if I put them too close together, the animal is going to get stuck. Or maybe not. We'll, we'll try, we'll see. We may have to move it again to unstick them. Um... All right, now I want the sheep, the sheep barn. There it is, let's select the sheep shed. And because we're gonna turn that into a bigger barn eventually, so we're gonna pop that right there. All right, and then we wanna move, I'm just gonna try and make a little bit more space. I love, I love the fact that you can tell. All right, let's, let's have these facing each other. And one more building, please, Dante. Yes, that one. I'm not sure what that sheep is doing out there. Okay, how much money do we have? Wow, that was like riches to ditches real quick. Okay. Where'd my pony go? Did I run? I didn't run all the way down here. Hi, Shuffles. Yeah, you're a smoocher. Here, we're going we're gonna to work on making you faster. Now we're going to ride you. All right, so we're going to try and be a lot more efficient with our animals than we were. We're going to have, we've just got the two barns and we're going to keep to the two barns for the moment. All oh, right. I think that might be a little bit close together. Let's just pick up these eggs. All right. This may be a bit close together, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Okay. And we're brushing our chickens, we have cuddled our chickens, we have brushed our chickens. We have not... I'm not sure what these guys are doing in here, but okay. I hope they don't make a habit of it, is all. I can always pick them up too. Right, now we put the brush away and just pat everybody. Alright, I think they were stuck. Uh, let's grab this. Look at those. Where's that chicken gone? Alright, off you go chicken. Alright, so everyone's kind of unstuck now. Sassy, I did catch you. I'm going to milk you though. That's right, no husband to do the, to do the thing, to do the milking. Olive. No, I have not patted you today. Okay. 
I know, see this episode I'm just kind of trying to work out where we're at with our animals and everything else. Arnold, what are you doing out here? Okay, that's good. Oh, that's where you're meant to be. Okay. Mabel, Hiccup and Chili. Okay, so I think I've tended all of my chickens now. I have not tended all of my pigs. Trey, I'm going to sell. Caramello. Just put the pippers away. Brush those two guys. Okay. Progeny. Okay. Annabelle. I've forgotten what else I needed to do today. Right, so we had to move to move the house. Poe. And sort our animals out. Okay. We had to ship what was left in our um what was left of the insects, so we'll get rid of those. We are going to ship our little kitchen, just get rid of that because it's driving me batty. We'll see how badly the trees clip in. Oh, it's like living in a jungle. That's going to drive me that crazy, that's okay. Alright, let's um... Okay, let's just... I can't pick them up. Alright, I want to pick that up. That's that's going to make my life awkward. That's okay. We'll, we'll sort it out. We're just going to pivot the large bland kitchen. Hopefully. Uh, okay, it doesn't fit there. That's fine. Alright, so it looks like I need to just rearrange my entire house. I must have been gifted that. We are going to have a selling spree, I think. Alright, I'm going to put my large bland kitchen over here. Which is annoying because I actually want to be able to move my mortar and pestles. Ah, oh, now they do it. I don't know what was wrong with them a minute ago. That's okay, at least they sorted themselves out. No, no, we want these. We're going to place them on our new kitchen bench. I had to make sure they were empty. Last time I moved mortar and pestles and they had stuff in them, I lost what was in them. It was very upsetting. Alright, let's grab our cupboard. There it is. Grab that out of the way. I know, I'm, I'm probably going to move my house out of here because this is just ridiculous. Okay, let's see if we can fit the, um, the desk in there. There we go. And the TV on top of it. Grab the chair, pivot that. Grab the chest. Uh oh, where are we going to put the chest? Alright, we'll put it at the foot of the bed, that's fine. Um, I probably wanted to put my fridge there. Let's grab the dressmaker's dummy. We'll just grab the fridge and pivot that around. It can kind of fit there. Dressmaker's dummy can kind of fit there. Alrighty, the wallpaper stuff, can I fit that under the desk? <laughs> no. Alright, I'm going to put it here then. Maybe. Oh, okay, now if I shove it halfway into the wall, it'll fit, that's fine. Uh, right, that's the kitchen I'm selling. This is the picture I'm keeping. There we go, that's kind of cute. Alright. 
So, now the difference between Wahoo Beach and Pumpkin Vale is at Pumpkin Vale, I kind of knew what people liked and, um, you know, what, what sort of gifts I could give them. Whereas that's, that's going to be a whole new adventure. Uh, over here let's just give our crops a quick water before they die we kind of need them to not die is that a pineapple that's a pineapple let's harvest that okay not with my watering can in my hand apparently we'll harvest it in a minute i'm just going to get rid of all of these so now 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 that we're not in pumpkin vale this the, the learning curve that i had for learning where everyone lived and all of that that's that's kind of back what everyone liked so i'm gonna to have to work on it kind of exciting really let's grab our, our, our potato our pineapple all right we'll keep that for seeds speaking of oh no i do have them planted hmm i wonder if they will harvest in time i wonder if i've got enough water to do one more yeah all right so we're gonna to have to get into our <laughs> belated sprinkle uh right so I'm very tempted, once these crops are done, I might move my house over to this corner. And uh, where it is now, I'll either put another animal barn or I'll just leave it for more trees. I'm not sure which, but having the trees there really isn't a good idea for it. I could also put it back to back here. Uh, I know. I don't know what I want to do with it. Let's put our windmill up the back because we kind of need to put that down so we can process things. See, the other thing is also now I don't know um, what what I've sent where, like how, how much of anything I've, I've sent. So this is going to be interesting. All right. I think, did I hide my well? Yeah, okay, I really need to move my house. We're going to put our fertilizer barrel down here because the house isn't staying where it is. Uh, and I don't like the windmill the way it's facing because I can't get to that box on the side so easily. So we're going to have to move it just because it's not convenient for me. Alright, so if I want it that way... Alright, it's not as ideal, but that's okay. It can catch the onshore breeze. Let's, um, let's harvest this. Alright, so re we're remembering that we're still... Still trying to ship as many crops as we can. And if I can ship a thousand crops a day, which I can't, but if I do, it's only ten days to get to that to that level that we want. Alright. Now I have to work out where I want my crafting stations. I'm thinking I might just put them down here by the chook house. And we'll keep this area relatively open. So let's just move that. I oh know, because chickens don't mind the sound of sawmills, really. Let's try that again. Uh, we need fish prep station. All right, cheese and mayo maker. It's kind of fitting to put it this close the cow barn we are gonna have to get a processing shed actually we could just put the cheese in but no all right we'll put it over here for the moment just pivot it that way um just stand put it back the butter churn can sit next to it the oil press because we now have enough plants to do oil bits as well i have a large feeding trough oh i know why uh, i will grab my furnace just pivot it for aesthetic sake and we'll grab the anvil might just leave that there okay all right we need to ship this it's worth 250 G we paid 400 for it so that's not all right there we go I'm stuck 
All right, so slowly, slowly, we're getting the feel of it. I mean, that's still better than nothing, isn't it? Um, okay, we want a storage shed. Grab that. All right, so. All right, I think if I build it, I'm going to put the processing. We're well, probably going to put a couple more windmills along that way. So we're going to put a processing shed here, uh, facing this way. So I guess we can put our storage shed. All right, that's going to solve a few problems. We'll just tuck that up there. I, I wouldn't mind a row of them there, actually. We'll have, we might rethink where we want to put the other one. Right, so this is a hundred bags of barley. I need another hundred. Did I get my... Where's my seed thing? Did I not buy a seed maker after all that? No, I bought the storage shed instead. That's right. Okay. Good. We're not going to ship that. Oh, we can ship that pineapple. I'm not sure I'm going to get 20 pineapples though. That's okay, we'll ship the pineapple, we'll ship the coconuts, we'll keep that, we'll ship the almonds, I've lost count, um, fine, that's okay. We'll go get that trough out of our backpacks, and I can see myself having an animal traffic jam here, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, let's pop that just up there. Oh good, the feed stayed in it. All right. So I'm thinking uh, it's nearly midnight for this character, but that's that's probably not a bad start to to sorting ourselves out. Um, except I think maybe we're going to want to move these buildings a little bit further apart. Yeah, almost definitely. And maybe we want to pivot the chickens so that they're facing this way. All right, so maybe that's not the best place to put that. Okay, so tomorrow I think what we'll do is we'll take these two chicken sheds and we'll try it, we'll turn them so this one can face this way, this one can move up beside it and they can face inwards. And uh, I think that might be a bit better than what we've got. And we'll move the house. Actually, we can't move the house over here yet, can we? All right, as soon as as soon as soon these um, the rest of these crops are done, before we planned our next set of crops... I mean, I'll take... Actually, we need to ship that because I don't think I can get honey yet. I could be wrong. I, I may already be able to get hives. That's fine. We'll just grow it again. I need to clear this space, basically. So we we'll ship a ton of flowers. You're back. If you're the type to want your fortune told, see Queen. I do not enjoy such things. In truth, I believe the darkness of the future is not to be peered into. He's such a cheerful guy. All right, we are also going to shovel up. Oops. Okay, we won't do that just yet. Let's pop it that before I have a nasty accident. We'll just harvest all of this. We're going to keep the camellia. I might turn that into tea. As a matter of fact, I might just turn it all into tea. And I'll see what variations I can do. So this corner we'll put the house in. We won't put any trees in it. So that'll be okay. But I can't do it till these crops are gone. And I don't want to just move the crops, like dig up those plots. What I might do is I might plant seeds in it. So we'll have this like staggering of barley because when I harvest it, then they'll be gone. And that way I won't have wasted energy to move it. I know it's 2.20. My poor little character's going to hate me again. I'm used to that though. So we're getting a lot more efficient. 
um, with this. Okay, where's our barley? Let's um, let's just equip that barley. The seed maker is about two grand, so we're not going to get a seed maker in a hurry. So these these plots will harvest away once we're done. All right, and I'll plant the rest out in the morning. So that that should work, I think. We need to just remove our chickens next episode. This creamy turnip soup. I know we're going to get a bunch of vegetable recipes now. And uh, meteor she is awesome. And the weather for the day after tomorrow is going to be 10% rain. Uh, uh, uh. But on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed uh, Zora's first day back, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe and we'll check you later. Take care out there.